All right, so like I told you, I'm here with two special ladies. Let me introduce them. This is my mother, Sharon Dombrowski. Hi. She came up to see us and spend Mother's Day with us. Absolutely. Um, who I love dearly. And my mother-in-law, Ingrid Dean, who I also love dearly, lives here in New Canaan with us. And um, one of the founding people of Dean, Inc. as well. And um, happy to hear that. Yeah. A special day for us. So um, I have a special treat for you guys. And... Um, this is something, I always like to have some kind of adornment on my show, so um, Peter and I, or I've been busy doing this, and we did it last night, so just stay there, I will show oh, you. Oh, oh, this is something we don't know. I guess so. So, oh, for a special treat. Oh, how cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are lovely. fresh flowers that, oh. I, Peter and I made last night, we did this. Yes, oh, we did. Really? I had these shipped in from Hawaii. Oh, what? these are beautiful. Oh my gosh. And the smell oh. is divine. All right, let me, so oh, we're on film here. So we're on oh. oh God. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, oh it's so oh. pretty against your blue. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, and one for, one for me. One for Julie. Oh yeah. Oh, they smell so good. <laughs> so these are um, orchids to start oh, our, our beautiful cooking today. I thought I didn't want to do, you know, corsages because right. I don't know they get in the way. Like and this is Sharon. <laughs> and I didn't want to do a, a boutonniere because I was like, oh, that's just so old school. Right. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Wow. We went with homemade lace. Oh boy. All right, to keep this in the fridge. So yes, all night. Absolutely, we were sewing last oh. night. So oh, let's oh, tell you, let's tell you about good. the menu today that we're going to be having. Thank you. A little Frank Sinatra we thought would be classic. Yes, right? that's, that's good. Yes, um, we're going to open some champagne, um, but along with the real menu, um, they both like shrimp. You guys both like to eat shrimp a lot, yes. so yeah. I thought that would be something fun to do. So we have some shrimp. We are going to roast the shrimp in the oven because what did you say when we were going to do the show? You said I don't want anything. Nothing too tricky. Right, nothing too tricky. <laughs> we keep it kind of simple. So it's like, okay, fine. So we're going to roast the shrimp. Um, we have some homemade breadcrumbs here. This is uh, breadcrumbs for, that we made from a um, sourdough uh, loaf from uh, flour, water, salt. Um, delicious bread they have. We have to find out they have good. breadcrumbs. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to roast the shrimp in the oven with the breadcrumbs, and then we're going to make a great seasonal salad. Uh, we're going to blanch some asparagus that's going to go into the salad. Um, and then we're also going to roast some carrots. Again, you know, everything is very seasonal and we're going to use lots of dill, uh, lots of dill, lots of lemon, because those are kind of perfect for this time of year. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do, Mom, is I'm going to have you just start peeling the carrots. Okay. Um, so you're going to do that. And then Ingrid, you can start snipping the asparagus. Okay. Um, I have, we're going to blanch the asparagus. So that means basically what she's going to do now is just trim off the bottom. You know, usually there's a woodsy part of the asparagus on the bottom. Right. So she's going to trim that. I have some water simmering, which I'm going to turn up to uh, super high heat, so it'll boil. We will salt the water uh, pretty generously, so that it helps to uh, season um, helps to season the asparagus. Uh, yeah, so definitely the purple carrots. We have the purple, the yellow, and you know the typical carrots here because it's nice to have the mix of colors in there. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that. And then in addition to this, we're also going to have a great um, uh, berry compote. So we're going to use rhubarb um, and strawberries. And all we're going to do, really simple with the rhubarb, is we're just going to take some chopped strawberries, we're going to chop up the rhubarb, and we're going to boil it in a saucepan with a little bit of sugar, about a half a cup of sugar or so. Um, if you don't want any sugar, you don't have to add any sugar. But both those um, types of fruit are not that sweet, so it does need a little sugar. Right. Um, well, we might that. add like a little touch of cinnamon and we're going to let that boil away until um, it kind of gets nice and thick and you know releases its natural pectin um, and then we're going to add um, maybe a little bit of cinnamon and uh, just a pinch of salt to bring up the flavors and serve that with ice cream and a little bit of granola. It's you know, delicious. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. I had it. it's All right, delicious. so that's good. Okay, so good. So we can get rid of those. We're yep. done with that there. Okay. Perfect. Um, our water is just about to come to a boil. All right, so we're going to get our asparagus going and um, keep peeling our carrots here, get those all chopped up ready for the oven, and uh, we will tune back in. <laughs> I am back with these two lovely ladies here, and we're going to keep moving. 
We've just been enamored by our ladies here yes. and smelling them, oh, right? Gorgeous. They it smells awesome. so good, yeah. So. Such a treat. Yes. Try not to get emotional. Yeah. <laughs> We're over it. We're all putting it together. All right. Deep breathe. Ingrid, so you're going to blanch the asparagus. Yeah. You're going to do that, okay. Mom. You're going to start slicing the carrots. Okay. So for the salad, um, the carrots are going to go in the salad, but we really want them to be uh, cut on the diagonal, so on the bias, so that when we slice the asparagus in the salad, they're going to be similar in shape. So that's something really to consider um, when you're composing salads and dishes, that you want your items to be similar so that they blend well together in the dish, right? So this is, not this is great. Short. But in the meantime, we are going to um, have some champagne <laughs> because it's Mother's Day and we're going to go with some really nice uh, champagne I here. Say. Yeah, wow. make sure that... Lots of help. I know. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Oh, wow. good job. All right. All right. So let's pour a little Great. bit of bubbly. So Ingrid, you're going to keep your eye on that asparagus yes. because we, we want it it's to not, be um, al dente, right? Yes, it's not really boiling. Yeah. That much yet. So these orchids are from Hawaii. I had them um, shipped from Hawaii. You can see the orchids now on the right here in front of us, right? So those were some of the leftovers from making the lays last night. And um, it's amazing. They smell so good. Not the orchids themselves, but it's something about Palmera. I forget the name of it, but. Right. Um, yeah, the orchids don't have a. a much of a scent, right, right. Yeah. exactly. Thank you. Know, you. Welcome. Thank you. Mama, here's some for you. Thank you. All right. Great. Cheers, ladies. Wow. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the moms yes. out there. Yes. Yeah. yes. Happy Mother's True. Day. All right, so I have the rhubarb here in front of me. And, um, you know, I was not really that familiar with rhubarb. Maybe take a, take a taste of one of those That's ingredients. Yeah. But I started cooking with it. And, um, you know, it's definitely a little bit um, sour, right? It has a little bit of a sour flavor. Um, but it's, it's very seasonal. It's, you know, pretty much only this time of year, right around when strawberries come out. So hence why strawberry rhubarb is, you know, such a common, um, uh, such a common, you know, combination. But um, so all we're going to do with this rhubarb here is I'm going to just dice it up. I'm going to cut the, these in half this way. Do you want to cut one of those? Yeah, let's see. So the best way to tell when the asparagus is done, because everybody always asks, well, how long and how long do you boil it? Another minute. I'm not sure. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. Minute? Pretty close. Another, no, no, another minute. minute to go here. Oh. Yeah. Um, we salted the water really well with the <laughs> asparagus. But yes, people always ask, how long until it's done? How long until it's done? You know, it's a judgment call because, you know, I can't tell what thickness your asparagus is or if it's pencil thin, if it's like right. some of the jumbo that are right. out there. So, you know, it's two to three minutes, but you have to just taste it just like I did. Like, mm, okay. She has a water bath right next to her, which is, you know, a bucket or, mm -hmm. sorry, a stainless steel bowl filled with ice water so that the asparagus will go in there. will stop cooking immediately. Okay. I think one minute is about done now. Yeah, so that's fine, Ingrid. So I'm gonna cube up my uh, rhubarb here. Ingrid's done that. And then, um, so we'll come back to you when we have all of our uh, all of our asparagus done and our carrots will be on the tray. Mom, you're doing great over there. Is the, oven, is the oven preheated? Yes, the oven's preheated. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so our asparagus is done, right? So Ingrid put it, she took it and put it into the ice cold water and it's nice and cold now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna have you just um, roll it up in the paper towel, right? Because right. We, I said what? You don't want it too wet. Right, you, and you don't want it to get waterlogged, right? Yes. You don't want it to sit in the water because you don't need it to soak up just more water. Um, Mom, you did a great job about the carrots. And what did we say about, what did you like oh, about the so carrots? they're colorful. Right, when you said before, you weren't really familiar with what? Oh, purple carrots. Right, and just a diagonal cut is right. so pretty. And the diagonal cut is really pretty. So let me show you guys this kind of the diagonal right. cut there. It I just you know it. gives you a lot more surface area on the carrots. Um, these will roast much better. Oh, if you right. had like big thick uh, carrots, they wouldn't roast quite as well. Right. Good um, point. So Sharon did a great job spreading these out. We're going to season these now with some salt and pepper. Um, in the meantime, Mom, let me hear. So let me give you the salt here. Okay. So she's going to start to salt these. You know, season up high just like this, right? Right, right, okay. Um, Ingrid, we okay. do have the, what do we have here? We have the rhubarb and strawberries, all right. cut up now. Ready? All cut up. Ready for sugar. Exactly, I don't even, it's, one recipe I said like was four cups strawberries, four cups rhubarb, half a cup of sugar. I mean, I don't know what we have. It doesn't really matter so much. Um, here's your sugar. Yeah. 
Um, so you're gonna pour that in. Um, you're gonna do a pinch of salt in there too, Ingrid. Do you want um, to put pepper on? Yes, you can, Mom. Right behind me over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my mom's gonna pinch with some salt. pepper and then we're gonna, um, yeah, the other way. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so the salt's gonna go on and we're gonna cook this. Oh, yes, put your hand. So we're gonna cook the um, berries basically until they get soft and kind of create like I want a little bit of a chunkiness to it to the sauce. Um, you could cook it down so it gets you know really liquidy, but you know we'll kind of just wait and see. It's not it's not an exact see, science to this. So sugar. Um, yeah, this is the sugar in the raw. That's what I happen to have, so we're gonna use that, which is fine. It has a little bit of a molasses um, kind of flavor to it, which is fine. I think that'll add a little life. Yeah. yeah, little level of complexity. You could even like midsummer like put like some basil in there, right? Mm -hmm. Like this basil and strawberries. So you see that? We're gonna throw a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, just okay. a touch, a okay. touch of cinnamon in there, just to add a little bit of spice, right? Cinnamon is a spice, um, so that'll go in there. And then Ingrid, I'm going to turn the heat on right here behind me, okay? So you can use that for the strawberries. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cover those initially, right? Maybe put like a little pinch of water in there just to get them going, just so there's a little bit of liquid on the bottom. And Mom, let's move yours over. Move my champagne for a minute. <laughs> I just want a little. Yeah. yeah, just did a little. Yeah, a little just bit. a little pinch. Yep. Yeah. So you put that on okay. the heat right over there. There should be a lid in that bottom cabinet there. Got it. Okay. So we're gonna go with some oil, of course, heavy pepper. My mom was a big pepper person. And Ingrid too. Both what? of those ladies are part of yes. yes. Fresh ground pepper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like pepper. Sorry. Yes, they they both love pepper. <laughs> they both are pepper ladies, right? <laughs> So I'm just going to, um, you want to mix these up with your hands? You want me to do it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Why not? She's yes. like, yes, yes, you can get your hands dirty. Right. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure that the oil, that the oil is well coated. Um, you know, so yeah, seek out the multicolored carrots, right? It yeah. definitely kind of gives it a fun little extra. Yeah. More professional. Yeah, and just like, you know, it makes it more attractive. Yes, a little yeah. more attractive. So, all right, so right. these are well seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm going to put these in the oven. Uh, we have the oven on convection. It's like 400 degrees. So um, I'll go ahead and put these in here. <laughs> so we'll let these cook. You know, I would say maybe 10, 15, 15 minutes, maybe. We're just going to keep our eye on them. Yeah. Anytime you're roasting a vegetable, like just keep your eye on it. Like it's, you don't have to, you know, your ovens make sure it's a, a 400 usually minimum mm -hmm. and then put your vegetables in and then just, you know, check it out for 15 minutes, right? And then you kind of go from there. It's like, I, I always try to tell or people- every 10 or whatever. Right, depending. I mean, I just try to tell people, stop so much about like worrying about what the piece of paper says, just use your senses more, right? So yeah. that's really my goal is to really get people to learn how to cook without relying so much on a piece of paper, what's in front of you, you know, use what produce you have, you know, cook what's in season, hence why we're cooking with the carrots and we're using the lemon and the dill. Um, and it's and our lilacs, oven. right? And our <laughs> lilacs, lilacs from my garden, so. Oh, all right. Great. Um, oh, so we'll let the rhubarb, the rhubarb and the strawberry go. We will uh, come back to you guys and kind of regroup. This is just so great. I'm just <laughs> laughing at these ladies that I have with me. It's wonderful. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> we gotta keep them under control. Okay, so Ingrid, you're gonna start to slice the asparagus. Yeah. So now kind of along the same theme that we had with the um, uh, with the carrots, right? Is that we wanna make sure that you're gonna slice these uh, uh, long on the bias. So the bias is diagonal, right? So I'm just gonna show her one so she can, or just I'll do two at once. So I'm sure we can kind of see here. And I'll show it to you. So really diagonal. But the only thing is when you get towards the tip, you try not to disrupt the, the tip. tip. Yeah, yeah, because the tip is so pretty, you don't want to so really pretty. want to cut through the yeah, tip. That's the but you can kind of see here, right? So these are really kind of on the diagonal here, right? So you can kind of see that, okay? Much so nice. that's all you're going to do. And again, remember your knife. I, we talked about this before. Remember your forward and down, right? You're using the bottom. Yep. We did that last summer when I lived yes. with you for that week. That was so fun. <laughs> I might just have to do that again. <laughs> okay. All right, so okay. here, let me get this out of the way. All right, good. All right, how's your champagne, mother? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Right? Cheers. It's so good. Okay. I love the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> these were a wedding gift. These these champagne glasses are from Paris. It's like a, oh. right? It's like yeah. a, a dolphin there, so unique. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had a lot of fun with those. We still have most of them. We. You know, broke it a little. Oh, wow. feel that, that's what happens, you right? Know, life, that's happens. What happens. life happens, right? Okay. You know, I'm gonna hey, have you start to season the shrimp, mother. Okay. Oh, so I get. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. 
first wait the, the i just want to show you show this oh, as best as i could so nice this has really started to cook down oh it's beautiful so you can see it's it's kind of hard to tell but i get a little bit closer here All right can we see that right Let's so you can see yeah the rhubarb especially like surprisingly like it really it kind of Whoops. cooks down like look at that right as tough that crazy? as it is as tough as it is it's it's well it's it's lots of water yeah right it has a lot of water in it um it, it's, it's a good old-fashioned dessert it is right it's, yeah reminds me of my grandmother yeah right yes yeah. yeah. rhubarb pie and i, I like it in her yard and i'm right, strawberry like, rhubarb pie or or just rhubarb, rhubarb but no, mostly okay. straw strawberry because of it more sweetness right so i think we should try this really quick yeah. actually so that's really good just um but it's it's, it's it's very old-fashioned yeah yeah i know i agree <laughs> hey, but move that handle. no the handle. handle oh oh yeah 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 well here i'm gonna bring it over just no, so we can try it yeah. i think we Moment. should try it real quick yeah just to see like what the sweetness level is like here Remember, we always talk about that with cooking, right? Is you have to try your food. Taste, 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 right. taste, taste. Yeah. If you don't taste, then you don't know what it's going to taste like. And then it sounds <laughs> like, right. I don't know how else to put that, but that's, you right. know, that's, that's exactly what it is. All right, so take a little bit. It's going to be really hot, obviously, so we'll have to just be careful. But try to, with a level for sweetness, Mom. Okay. Just blow on it, right, obviously. Yeah. Well, I like hot stuff anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Spicy, too. You like spicy, too. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Good. How is it, girls? Mm. Hot. <laughs> I think it could use some salt and some sugar. It definitely needs a little more sugar. We didn't put much sugar in there. And again, uh, the remember the the rhubarb is, is a little bit more um, sour. It's not yes. super sweet, right? No. And so and a little salt. I did put salt in there. I'll put another pinch. Yeah. Well, the salt brings out the flavoring. Obviously, you don't want to right. taste salty, but yeah. remember, salt pulls out the moisture salt enhances the flavor mm -hmm. and it's always best to salt before or during mm -hmm. right typically as that will give you the after. best flavor as yeah. opposed to after because after it sits on the surface okay i mean it, it still kind of adds flavor but yeah. it just doesn't really enhance it through and through right right so if right. you season kind yeah. of as you go um, right. It heats you kind of more through and through. So I think the sugar Perfect. dissolves. That didn't out take of, long to cook. It's down. pretty quick, right? It's pretty quick. So it's amazing. Gary would love this. He would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Gary. Yeah. Um, okay. So, well, actually, you know, a little kind of side note here. Um, you know, Ingrid and um, Gigi bonded, you know, very well because both of them lost their first husbands um, together. Not together. Different okay. times, but yeah. about ten years apart. Well, well, they were about 91, ten years. Ten years apart. Yeah. Um, Almost, but anyway, so, mm -hmm. um, and today is Big Peter's birthday. Yes. And today's Alex's birthday. So God bless both of their souls. We miss yeah. them desperately, dearly, and yeah. think of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So exactly. it's this is really special because we're doing this. We're in the Dean showroom. Yes, exactly. Right? My husband is here and we're having Dom Perignon champagne <laughs> and we're surrounded by flowers and, you lovely. know, all Just lovely things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's Perfect. okay. We're all good here. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I think actually, like, I think we're going to let this cool now. I think we're going to taste it again to make sure that it has the appropriate amount of kind of um, salt and sugar. Taste it again. Mm -hmm. Let me hear it. You can try it yeah. now. Tell us what you think. It's just like a sauce. It's a compote. It's a sauce. It's, you know. Yeah, like I say, it's very old-fashioned. Mm. Old That's better. I don't want it Good. too sweet. I, I want it, no, you know, I don't, I don't want to overpower it with sweetness. I can taste the rhubarb. I don't like too much it's sweet. Good. Right. We just want to yeah. make make it like, you know, nice and saucy. Yeah. Okay, so now what Perfect. we're going to do to make it cool, we're going to do the kind of like the rapid cool effect here, right? So this is... Oh, yeah. uh, I think we're just gonna. This is what they don't show you on TV, right? So we're gonna take this whole wow. thing just like this, wow. right? Because we wanna, we want it to cool. Because I'm not like fancy TV where I already made it, <laughs> right? So fabulous. What we put it in the fridge? We're gonna stick it in the freezer. Oh, the so freezer. So wrap it cool down. Even more fun. Oh, so my cameraman good. here, Peter, our my cameraman. Hubby, yeah, Peter, our cameraman. Sister, uh, better known as the bartender. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yep, he does a little bit of everything. Yeah, cook. Yep. Yep. cook. Okay. okay, so let's season the shrimp. I'll take those. Okay. We're all fine. Yeah, here, Ingrid, I'm going to give it this. Okay, ah, great. And then um, there's a bowl here. You can use this bowl for your, um, you can grab a bowl for the asparagus. Ingrid, one of those small bowls there. Yes. 
We have our shrimp here. So this is a pound of shrimp. It's peeled and deveined. You know, they're not too big. This is, you know, they're 16 to 20, right? So 16 to 20 means 16 uh, to 20, 16 to 20 per pound, right? The count. Right? That's a great size. Yeah, it's a great yeah. size. So what we're gonna do to the shrimp is we are going to do lemon zest. Mm -hmm. So Ingrid, you're gonna zest lemon. So I'm gonna show you what to do here. So these great zesters, the microplanes, if you guys don't have these, like buy two. They're so wonderful. We use them for zesting, we use them for garlic, we use them for chocolate, you can use them for Parmesan cheese. I mean, you could just- So keep, many things. So many things, right. So I you're gonna- small one, but Right, <laughs> yes, so they work great. So you can buy them you know, at your local kitchen stores, um, obviously online. So all you're gonna do, all right, so you're gonna zest and you're gonna just gonna okay. get onto the shrimp. Okay. Um, let me see here, hold on. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Maybe some dill. I think, you know, as much as, um, I don't usually bake with tender herbs. I think we're gonna try it. I think, Mom, we're gonna have you just take some dill here and just start like, kind of like doing this, just break it up with your hands. Okay. All right, so you're gonna season that with them. And then remember, on here, we're gonna add some fresh breadcrumbs and then we're gonna season it really well with salt and pepper. And then also we're gonna put on there, um, this, so when you, when, you, when you dump it, you wanna dump it straight, push it straight, because mm -hmm. sideways, otherwise it'll collect. Yes, it'll I see that. It. Yeah, yeah catch it. So just side. go uh, straight. And then so not sideways, it. so just, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. perfect. Um, anyway, so we are going to do, go all over mother. Well, it's fine, because we're gonna mix it, but we're gonna put the breadcrumbs on here too, and then some um, olive oil, and then it's gonna get nice and crunchy in the oven. Sounds oh, good, This right? is great, I can't oh, wait to try yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, the dill is such a spring herb. The dill, like in my garden, once it gets super hot, it, it just it just grows to a seed, and it, it, it just, it doesn't really like the really high heat, the dill, so, you know, you. <laughs> spring, 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 springy herbs. I'm gonna check our carrots. Nope. Okay. They're good. Ooh. Get a facial over there. All right, so we will come back to you guys um, in a couple minutes. Um, we'll gather the asparagus and uh, have a little we'll uh, sip of my champagne and the shrimp. <laughs> and the shrimp. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Look at how I, close Good I get to be to these ladies. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. for the memory book. Okay, so I uh, want to show you the carrots because the carrots are done here. Fabulous. Sir. Right? So you can kind of see here as best as you can see. <laughs> I've got some crispness there on the carrots. Now, um, remember, when everything comes out of the oven, they're going to keep cooking. Right? So they're still hot. We don't right. want the carrots to be hot to go in the salad. Obviously, we're having a nice cold, crisp salad. Mm -hmm. So the carrots are meant to be served room temperature with the salad, okay? Just like the asparagus yes. is now kind of gonna get to room temperature. Um, right. In the meantime, we're gonna come back to our shrimp here. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, we have our fresh breadcrumbs, like I told you. Jason knows, he learned when he was on here with me. <laughs> I'm sure Jason's probably watching. Hi, Jason, he was so great um, <laughs> and so fun. Um, so. We have our fresh breadcrumbs. Now this, what I just want to show here, get my point across here, is that like, you see, you have like big pieces, Got little it. pieces, right? It's very inconsistent, right? As opposed to, you know, the shake, which I call it sand. When you get the sand, it's it's just yes. like, it's like sand. It's all. Right? So you yes. see like the Progresso or the whatever, yeah. it's nothing wrong with them or whoever, but. Right. I would do panko if I wasn't going to do fresh bread. I like that. We, uh, yes. You like, panko like that. Yeah, yeah. panko's Red good too. Yeah. So it, it would be like, you know, fresh, and to my opinion, I love it the most, then I would go panko and then the regular. Right. Right. Certain situations, the regular's fine, but something like this, you right. want this inconsistency. Yeah. Here. Okay, right. so what you both are going to do right. here is we're going to just start spreading some breadcrumbs. Okay. So you ladies are going to start spreading, okay? We're using our hands. Yes, <laughs> yes, you, you heard me, right? You listened, yes, right? So, yes. you know, don't be afraid to get dirty in the kitchen, right? Use your hands, get into it. I mean, that's kind of like what we do. You, you know, don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't we be don't afraid. have to use all the breadcrumbs. Okay. okay, so here's another kind of moment. It's like, do you have shrimp, do you have breadcrumbs? Two cups, one cup, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you have some breadcrumbs on the shrimp. Yes, right? And yes. then, like, so I'm saying, stop, so, it, you I know. I think we have them covered. That, hold on, yeah. let me see. That's fine. Let me uh -huh. see. A little bit more. It's okay. You want to? Yeah, And yeah. we're going to mix it up anyway. We're going to mix That's it. That's right. And then we're going to season So we're going to season it and mix. Season and then olive oil and then mix. Okay. Or over here. Okay. <laughs> she wants a lot of breadcrumbs. Okay. Looks good. So this, we're, we're, this is a pound of shrimp, and that was, I don't know, how many cups was in here? Three cups? Ooh. Yes. Probably I good say. three or four yeah. cups. It was like half of a loaf. Again, yeah. it was the flour, water, salt. 
Right. You know? Yeah. That great bread that Peter likes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mom, mother, you have the salt. Gigi, you have the pepper. Okay. So mom, remember when you season up high, right? right. So you're going to be here just like this, right? So you yep. do season low, you get clumpy. So you want to season up high. Okay. So you do that and you do that. I'm mean, going to do this so Sharon doesn't get pepper all over, right. over her hands. Yep, good. Go okay. closer, Mother. Yep, there you go. I'm going to sneak in here. <laughs> yes, that's good, actually. How's that? That's great. <laughs> I think that's good. Okay. Let's do it. No, she just needed to do more. Do you want more pepper? <laughs> okay. Obviously, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Remember, it's kosher salt too. Kosher salt is not as salty as you, right. so you can be more generous. And it's 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 it, it is. is kind of hard to over salt with kosher salt. I just have to say. Which I mean, you have to really do a lot of salt. Okay. Which is a good idea. Olive oil, right? Look at that. Like so, Ooh. relatively generous, right? Yeah. Because the olive oil needs to get crispy. And it will be much crispier with the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not the olive oil doesn't need to get crispy, ladies. You're supposed to be paying attention. <laughs> Thank you. The bread the crumbs. crumbs. I thought to get crispy. I didn't want to interrupt. I think I have to have another <laughs> sip of my champagne. We're right? over being graded. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So oh. all I'm going to do now, or oh, one of you, do you want to? No. Right. <laughs> okay. I all I'm going to do here. Okay. It's your day. Okay, Ingrid, go ahead. Yeah. So we're going to mixy mix, right? Mixy mix. What was it before? Pushy push. <laughs> like, oh, that's what it is. That's my lingo. Mixy mix, pushy push. Pushy push, push. Whatever. Very good. I just good. try to make people like so they can remember and think. Yeah. And it's okay because okay. then you can always wash your hands out. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yes. We're getting dirty in the kitchen. Okay. okay. But the important thing here is okay. So now we've combined it well. Now the important thing is we need to spread it out. Okay, because the shrimp can't yes. be on top of each other like this oh, because what will happen is they'll steam. I can do that. All right, you can help we spread. Can do that. All right, we spread. can do this. Yep. I got that covered. And if you're doing exactly. this for a lot of people, then you do two trays. Oh, right, use sure. multiple trays, yes. right? Right. Okay, but so this is not so complicated, right? I'm just no, saying, this right? is not. Okay, you can do this. this. Is, we can not do this. Not too crazy. Right? You can do well, this. <laughs> really, no me. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the remember we have the lemon zest, we have salt, we have pepper, we mix in some fresh dill. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, it's garlic. Great. We don't have garlic. That's the only thing, but that's fine. You could have put garlic in here. Yes. Can you yeah. put garlic in here? Yes, absolutely. You could. Yeah. We didn't, and that's okay. You don't have to have garlic in everything. No, you're yeah. right. That's such a mother comment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a mother comment. She would say, "Your kids don't need to be busy all the time. It's okay for them to be bored." Yes. Right. That is. I right. agree. How about when we had the twins, and Brooke and Matt? Right. What a disaster that was in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it Good was Lord. great. Oh, the twins. They were great. But yes, you're going in five directions. Right. Okay, so look. Here we go. There's the shrimp, right? Lots of breadcrumbs. Like, I wouldn't, this can't be any more crowded. Like, this is about it. Right. If you had more than this, you'd have to put it in another tray. Right. Okay, so that's oh, like, really, like, see how that's, that's good? All right, we're Beautiful. going in the oven. Beautiful. A little facial here, but that's okay. Little, all right. All right, it's in. Here we go. Okay, it's in. Um, we have our champagne, so, we have our carrots are done. Oh, I want to show them this. Here. Oh, this is okay. great. This is great. This oh. is the lettuce baby. This is awesome. Okay. I agree. That is great. I Wait, agree. we got to move this because yep. we don't want that to get yeah. over. Okay. And I so when I'm drying lettuce at home uh, and, you know, I rinse it or I put it in a uh, you know, bin of cold water, and then I put it this through the spinner, and then we just let it dry on towels on the table. So I came home, and then Peter said, I wrapped up the lettuce. So all I did was wrap it into the towel. Great. It had the dill on when dill was drying too. Right. So, um, but the lettuce here, it's crisp, right? Listen. Great. Listen. Oh, it's awesome. Right, you can hear it. It sounds nice and crisp. The lettuce was in cold water, right? And it was sitting in the cold fridge. So this is um, wonderful lettuce here. This is, we're doing uh, red mm, leaf. Yeah. We're also gonna add some arugula just to give that like kind of peppery um, mix here. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you, you know, you spread it out on your kitchen table nice and, oh, and awesome. let the water dissipate and evaporate, you know, just through the air, yeah. but you have to catch it. You can't let it get limp. So right. there's that fine right. line. Yeah. A couple of times I've gotten busy and distracted. And I've gone in, I'm like, oh. <laughs> There goes the parsley yes. that's now like yes. kind of limp. Yeah. And you know, sometimes I try to put it back in the water or whatever. Anyway, yeah. so 
but yeah, so I it's okay that. to use your you know your bigger towels for uh, yeah. bigger jobs right so yeah. bigger well, amounts that, of that's rain great so. a perfect right. success yeah, yeah great that's okay great so idea. we're gonna take a little pause here <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Here they are. <laughs> here they are. Still here. We're still here. Okay. So I just want you guys to try one of the carrots. Hmm. I want to try one of the dark carrots. I mean, just like this is. Oh, yummy. Oh, delicious. Oh, delightful. Right? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. It could just be an hors d'oeuvre. Right. Mm -hmm. We just. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Like nature's candy here. Okay. Yeah, right. But I'm going to move them aside because they're going to eat them all when they're really good with a salad. Right. <laughs> but I want to show you the rhubarb. And we're going to kind of get this ready. So this is kind of something that you could do ahead of time in advance. Which I like. Which is a nice kind of light um, dessert. So we're taking the compote here. And we're going to do like think, two little scoops here, right in the kind of the bottom of the glass. Yeah, and then you could fill it with whipped cream or you could do, we're going to do vanilla ice cream. And then something crunchy on top. Even if you bought like, we're going to do granola. Yeah. Because I made that the other day. Yes. Which is homemade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. delicious. Or when I had with you, we did sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. We had from Easter, so yes. we left over just regular sugar cookies. I mean, they were they was good. We just put up the yes. you know crumbled sugar cookies on top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mother, you fill this one here okay. about two scoops or so. Mm -hmm. um, we have our shrimp that is um, oh, is done up here. So we're gonna we're gonna start to um, <clears throat> get our salad ready. And um, as you guys saw, you know we had that big green leaf lettuce. So. All we're gonna do is kind of take the leaf lettuce and just tear it with our hands. So Ingrid, you can kind of start tearing okay. it with your hands. So into bite-sized pieces, right? Because you don't want it too big because it's hard to kind of to get into your mouth. <laughs> this is not a chopped salad, but it is a, I would say it's a torn a salad. It's, yeah. Well, there's a difference. Yeah, yes. there's a torn salad, yeah. Okay. And we are gonna be adding to the salad, um, obviously the carrots and the asparagus, um, but we're also gonna be adding um, lots of fresh dill so just the actual dill mm -hmm. itself like well, they call it dill weed right and they call it dill weed right they do they call it weed because it kind of grows like a weed in a sense it's just that texture but um, do we chop up the dill we're going to just break it with our fingers okay we're going to put it in like it's an actual ingredient like and we're going to put a fair amount in there so that you know it's an ingredient it's not you know it's part of the salad right? okay it's but those not, look great mom it isn't just an accent right right no it's an ingredient exactly so no those look good um, it's, um and then we're going to put those aside so pretty yeah and it's great and it's you know it's kind of now right strawberry rhubarb right mm -hmm. right yeah so very yes, you can do that on the bottom or top of right you can put on the bottom or the top right i just kind of figured this is kind of an easy way to get it like to kind of one step Right. You could put it that in like a martini glass, mm -hmm. right, for a party, yes, um, exactly. or even like a little petite one in like in a fun little shot glass or something, right? Yeah. So, all right. So the other thing with salads too is that it's pretty much a handful per person, right? Typically is the way you think of it. So we have our arugula here too. So we're gonna add our arugula. Yeah. So that's another handful. Okay. So that's good. So let's just kind of like. Yeah, just mix that up. So you kind of figure here, so we're four of us, right? So just figure like, okay, one, two, and this is like a main dish salad, so the yeah, three, four, so, yes, you need so we have enough, right? We have enough for four people. So, but typically, you know, a side salad right here, that's a nice way to measure lettuce, is just right. like a handful at a time, yeah. is a nice kind of side salad. So we have yes. our asparagus, which you can grab over there, Ingrid. Yeah. So we're gonna put, uh, yeah, let's see, do we want all of it? I mean, what do you think? Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's only not a lot. Since the lettuce is yeah, so, maybe so we'll, light, it'll. Yeah, but that's down. good. So we did the asparagus and we'll do all the carrots though. Yes. So we'll put those These on the side good. there, right there. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's so far, that's good. Very, what we have there. Very pretty. Right? Yeah. Yeah, very springy. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab our dill. So we're gonna start to add a bunch of dill. Here, so here's our dill here. So ladies, all you're gonna do here, for example, sorry, you don't want the big thick stems, obviously, no. but like you're just gonna, oops. Pull it off? Yeah, just kind of, I'll give you some other, here, take that. So just pull off like here. So just start pulling off the pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you so know, little aromatic. It is, right? And so that's what's so great about it. And, and you know, I feel like yeah. sometimes this kind of stuff, mm. 
you know, goes bad before you have a chance to use it all. Oh, yes. So it smells so good. It smells yeah. good, right? So my point is like just use more, you know, kind of as you're cooking, right? Because it's it's just so lovely and you know, um, but we want to make sure these are a little smaller, some of these. I can take some of the big ones away. Yeah, 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 good. We have lots of dill here. The other thing you could put in here, which I meant, I thought it was somewhere in the kitchen, I guess I forgot it at home, was some mint. So mint would have been really nice in here too. Um, oh, yeah. But I forgot, I don't know where it went. So <laughs> usually I have so much mint coming out of the garden, uh, but it just, I don't know where it went. So anyway, no mint, but mint would be really nice in here. Tarragon, so all those got that kind of flavor profile. Very French actually, right? Especially with the tarragon. Tarragon right. is so yes. French. So, um, okay, so um, right. we're gonna start to kind of get this tossed and plated, and we'll show you guys our, our final plates. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh gosh. <laughs> Shaky shake, we're ready to toss up our salad. So we have like a lemon thyme vinaigrette here. So it's lemon zest, lemon juice. Yes, I did it really tight. Okay, I got it. <laughs> lemon zest, lemon juice. Um, some thyme. Oh boy. And um, a little bit of honey, salt, pepper. What else? Olive oil, obviously. So a little pepper. Ingrid, pepper. Yes, Here's your please. pepper. <laughs> a little bit of salt. You do put a little salt on your salads, my friends. It's okay. A little bit of salt. Remember, you can never take away your dressing, right? Right. 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 So, so you easy. do it in small increments. And exactly. I remember years ago, there's too much dressing on oh, yeah. the salads, right? right? Especially now that we taste them and realize right. that right. you don't need Well, the same much. way with salt and pepper. Yes. So this, I think, looks nice. And, and also, it's just you want to be careful because you don't want to weigh it down, right, too much. Right, but I right, think this right. is, you know, yeah. like here, it's kind right. of like, show that. take oh, a look nice. here. Good. Yeah. Right, like nicely coated, looks so pretty and yeah. uh, festive. <laughs> yeah. Festive yeah. for the ladies. Right? Perfect. Okay. All right. So we'll plate this up. We'll plate it up with a shrimp. We'll show you guys what the final plate looks like. <laughs> Good. Hi. All right. I love you, ladies. Here's our plates. Let's show what we have wow. here. Okay. Our labor. So here's our kind of finished product. Awesome. Here, turn it down a little bit, Mother, so you can see, right? Yeah. Oop. Before it falls off. <laughs> great. This That's was really great. fun. I was so happy to have you both on the show. It's been great. This cooking show. I, I, know, I don't know what do I call it. It's, it's a show. It's Thank cooking. You. It's, it's sharing love and you know wonderful good things. And happy Mother's Day to everybody out there, yes. right? Happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Yeah. It's such a pleasure to have my two favorite ladies on my show within our lays, right? And actually, so Julie is really superwoman. So yeah. <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> we don't even both. try to compete. Uh, right, <laughs> Peter, we this love you great. too. Yes. Thank you, Peter. Happy Mother's Day.